Our local teams will be lining up against an opponent. They'll all be facing another one. We're talking about the heat tonight with the heat index in the triple digits and almost all of our local counties. In the last couple of hours, as we mentioned, Richmond County decided to push back all four of their games tonight to eight. At least five games in South Carolina also pushed back to eight o'clock tonight to try to combat that heat. Today's heat is even worse than yesterday, where we saw several students hospitalized at a cross country meet. This is video from that meet at Diamond Lakes Park where the event had to be canceled early because of those high temperatures. Nick Veland joining us now live outside Cross Creek Schools, new football field. And Nick, this is one of those games pushed back a little bit because of those temperatures. How are they handling the heat out there? Yeah, Richard, well, the marching bands is about to get going and getting on the field. They're just in the shade soaking up as much shade as they can before having to go out. They're actually about to cut a ribbon for their new turf field behind me and Cross Creek is starting their season a week after many teams already had a game to be played so they're getting they're starting a little bit behind schedule stretching One, two, three. lifting <laughs> all while beating the heat staying in the AC trying to eat good meals when they're in school and when they go home but just really just hydration hydration uh, a lot of stretching and still working out Practices have mainly been inside all week, restricted to four walls, but still looking to make the most of it. In the gym, in helmets and shoulder pads, studding up so that the guys are still getting contact and trying to go harder while we're inside, trying to practice to get ready to play a game outside. Preparing for their first game of the season, even though it's the second week for everyone else. Last week's game against Butler was canceled over safety concerns. Head coach Izzard Horn isn't letting this hold them back in the long haul. So really, we've kept to our same game plan week by week. So yeah, we didn't play last week, but we knew we had a game the next week. So it was business as usual. Just like if a player goes down, his next man up. We didn't play a game, okay, prepare for the next game. He knows his team will be a threat no matter the temp or if a game gets canceled. Every time we step on the field, we're going to compete. We're not going to lay down. We're not going to back down. We're not going to yield to anybody, right? If we won't respect as a football program, we have to go and take it. And kickoff is getting closer and closer now with an 8 o'clock kick, you know, the team is all just, you know, going through their warm-ups inside, getting prepared for this delayed start. And you can see the action on the field is, you know, picking up as we get closer to game time. We'll have coverage from this game and more tonight at 11. And we hope all that prep earlier helps them tonight in all that heat. Sports Director